This is Cheyenne, Wyoming. It's 2,000 miles away from Fenway Park. Not the typical place you'd expect to find a little boy whose hero is David Ortiz. Why is Big Pop your favorite, buddy? Oh yeah, he hit a home run for me. This dude. So you guys are like buddies who send videos back and forth and he hits home runs for you? Yep. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> he is full of life. Spunky, hilarious, super caring. He's beyond words, yeah. But this is not your typical story, and Maverick is not your typical six-year-old boy. He has a pulmonologist, he has a cardiologist, he has an endocrinologist, he has an orthopedic surgeon. Maverick was born with a hole in his heart, a congenital heart defect called Tetralogy of Fallot. The condition blocks blood from reaching the lungs, meaning little Maverick spends the majority of his time attached to an oxygen ventilator. You just don't know how are you going to get through the next day, but you do what you have to do when it comes to your child. That's absolutely, that's the number one. For Mike and Marty Lenane, what they've had to watch their son endure is almost unimaginable. In 2013, Maverick got very sick. We went to the ER here, and Maverick kept telling me not to leave him, that he was going to die. And we couldn't quite figure it out. I had gone to the bathroom, and I walked in the room, and he said, Mommy, I'm going to die. And at that point, all the machines went off, and he was gone. They started doing chest compressions on Maverick, and all I could do was yell and tell them to please save my son and they worked as hard as they could and he he came back and he told us that he wasn't ready and he looked right at me and he said mommy don't ever leave me again and i told him don't you ever leave me again three years later maverick is now six years old and he's undergone over 40 surgeries including five open heart procedures his battle is ongoing, but it doesn't stop him from doing the one thing he loves the most. One thing I like doing with my family. One, watching the Red Sox. Baseball's kind of where me and him really bonded. It was something that, that he, he took interest in, and then he wanted to know, you know, who played what position, you know, what bases were what, you know, how the game went, how many strikes he had to get out. And, it was more of really a big bonding thing between me and him, and, and uh, I just kind of prevailed from there and fell in love with the Red Sox. My name is Navik, M-A-V-E-R-I-C-K. My favorite people in the Red Sox is Big Poppy. With the help of the Children's Miracle Network, that message found its way to another member of the Red Sox family. Yeah, so Kelly Davis, who works with the Children's Miracle Network, you know, always kept me informed of his good days and bad days. And I was doing the show here, Fenway Park, Friday night, and uh, Kelly said, Kevin, can you go get David Ortiz to do a video for Maverick? He's not having a great day. You know, Big Poppy right here with my boy Kevin. We love you. So we remember that. We love you, okay? Cowboy up. We always on your side. Always stay positive. Keep the faith. All right, you take care, buddy, and I'm going to hit a home run for you tonight. He's, Remember that. He's hitting a home run for you, Maverick. For you. Love you, buddy. Bye. Later on that night, the Red Sox found themselves tied with the rival Yankees in the bottom of the eighth inning. David Ortiz stepped to the plate in what was likely his final at-bat of the night. Swung on and well hit to left field. Way back it goes. It is gone. your homer, buddy. Yes, just for you, baby. I had never seen Maverick so happy. And he's like, was that really for me? I'm like, yes, that was really for you. He not only hits a homer, but now it's a game winning homer. He hits home plate. I'm in the front row here and David and I lock eyes and I have my kids with me. And it's just like this emotion took over. I mean, I had goosebumps, I had tears. Big Poppy, you never let me down, and you're the best player ever in that Red Sox game. And I'm trying the hardest to get
get out there in Fenway Park and meet you. That was it. That gives me chills this day. I said, that's, there's only one thing that's gonna be on my mind is get this kid here to meet her neighbor Ortiz. So, two weeks after David Ortiz hit his home run, Maverick and his family got on a plane to fly to meet his hero. Hey Maverick, where are we going? To Boston. What are you gonna go do there? Uh, eat this puppy. The next day, Maverick headed to Fenway Park, one step closer to meeting Big Poppy. Look who's right there! David Ortiz! David Ortiz! Yay! When he finally arrived at Fenway, his tour guide was waiting for him. I'm here. Huh? You played the surprise for me, didn't you? I planned a surprise for you, dude. <laughs> Are you ready to see Fenway Park? Huh? Of course, Maverick and his guide had to stop at a few iconic locations along the way. Oh my God, I'm big I'm gonna get the chance to sign your name anywhere in the Green Monster, okay? I want to right there. Find it, Bobby. Next stop, the batting cage. Maverick was gonna throw out the first pitch that night, and he had to get warmed up. His practice was about to be interrupted. What's happening? Uh oh, what's happening? Who is this? Stop talking to me, No. No way. No. Do not go in. No way. Big Bobby. Gotta get a big old hook for my buddy, man. How are you? Hey, you look good. Remember that one home that I tell you we're gonna hit for you? There we go, that's the ball. Yes, I'm gonna sign ball. it for you? Yeah, yeah let me sign it. <laughs> we bought you a special case to uh -oh. put it in afterwards. Yeah. Maverick, that's the ball you don't want for you. <laughs> hey, let me I'm sign it for you. I'm using this. Demo. I found the first pitch. Huh? I found the first pitch. Really? <laughs> you practice already? Yep. Let me see you. Show sure, practice, you can let be back. Let me see you throwing. Oh, <laughs> nice, you're ready. You threw it over the plate. See? <laughs> Oh he's, re oh, he's ready. Huh? You ready. We now ask Patrick to step forward and deliver a final ceremonial first pitch to his new friend, David Ortiz. All right, Patrick, how about this? It was now game time, and Big Poppy and the Red Sox gave Maverick plenty to cheer about. And that's the ball game. The Red Sox win another one, and Maverick has loved every second of it. His, his whole face, his whole expression, he was so happy. Nice to meet you, pal. Number two favorite. We got to come in, we got to see the big monster, Maverick got to sign the scoreboard, he got to pick some of the grass off of Fenway Park. You laugh like the bad guys in the movie, what's going on? <laughs> I mean, he just got the full out tour, it was so much fun. He, it will be a feeling he'll never forget. And at the same time, a sadness when he leaves tonight. Today, Maverick is on his way back to Cheyenne. He's two weeks away from his next surgery and an uncertain future. But for Maverick, this day wasn't about what lies ahead. <laughs> this will be a time that he will talk about, a story he will tell forever and a a picture-perfect dream coming true.